You're gonna be a helper, Parker. Hmm. He's just gonna glare at me. First things first, let's go all the way back since we got this glitch gun. Oh, excuse me. How's the game sound versus my voice? I always worry about that. You're being very good, Parker. He's just sitting here and not being annoying. Sitting all fancy. Parker. Okay, now you're slightly annoying. You're just gonna sit right in front of the chat. That's that's good. Mm. That's suspicious. Could you just sit down? Just with your feet? Lay down on your front. No, don't touch. No, just fine. Um, the preview is currently only like 15% of the game. I'm gonna guess the game is probably pretty dang close to done, but you know, just not showing the whole game in the previews, of course. It's pr it's on track to release this year, but. Uh, they said they have a release date, but they're not telling us yet, so that usually means very, very close to done. Okay, okay, bad. Dying. Mm -hmm. Very dying. Oh god. I can't see the chat because of your neck fluff, Parker. You don't even care, do you? He doesn't even care. He's just looking at me like, yeah. Whatever. It's humans, right? Wait. I think you can actually go up instead of through that hell hole. Neck is all stiff. the door just came through. How do you know to sit in the worst possible places, Parker? How do you know these things? It's very smart in the least helpful of ways. Oh, I think I am streaming at 60 frames per second. I'm not sure how well Twitch handles that. Or how well my internet connection handles that, but uh, that's what I told OBS to do. I can't particularly tell while I'm playing if it's doing that right. But it should be! Hmm. I don't think I can get back up, actually. Well, crap. I've really loved what I've seen of it so far. Definitely excited for the full release. Are you excited, Parker? Hmm? He doesn't care. He's a cat. Glitch gun is great. Parker. Why don't you lay down? Hmm? Hmm? Just... No? Oh 
let's see what guns we got here. Okay, that was not a brilliant idea. I'm sure that display is supposed to mean something, but I don't really get it. Uh, let's check my map. There is the map. Let's just keep going backwards. I doubt there's anything super special hidden back. But, uh... Might be some simple power-ups I missed. I want to get that, whatever that is. I'm sure, it's very delicious, but uh, I need to figure out a better strategy for killing those jerks. I'll take that. Yum. Nope. Just gonna leave you right there. I didn't go... I didn't... Oh. Aww. There's at least one, maybe two upgrades to the glitch gun? Because I see these three column or three roads, rather. I know there's at least one, but I kind of assume there's three because of that. With the three rows business. Let's go left. Let's fall off the platform a few times, but then let's go left. Excuse me. Crap. All right, this thing. I'm just gonna run. Yeah, the soundtrack's are really great. The soundtrack and the environmental art are fantastic. Slightly less amazed by the player sprite and the the player like talk the talking head, but uh, the enemies are great too. The environments are just fantastic, and the glitch effect is really well done too. Oh, and the health thingy. Oh, -ho! I can get through here. I love how you glitch enemies to progress through stuff. Ooh. Looks like there may be a way down, too. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, gentlemen. What is that? That is a new thing. Holy crap. I missed a power-up, then. What is this? It's like the conference call, slightly. Aw oh, man, nobody's gonna break into this? Come on. Where'd you go? Actually, I'm not sure there is anything under here. May just be cosmetic. Wait. Yeah, I think it's just cosmetic. That's interesting, but I'm not sure how useful it is. Parker, don't lick me. I'm playing games. I don't think these do anything useful, do they? No, they just freeze in place. Hmm. Hmm. up with this. 
this. I like the map in this game. The map is a really important part of a Metroidvania in my opinion. There's uh, some obvious hints that there's gonna be... Well like, if you see up here, it's obvious that I missed something here. How did I not grab this? When did, when did that open? What was I saying? But yeah, I love when it shows which areas you've been into but haven't like progressed all the way through. Oh, I guess this would be why. What do you, what do you do? Oh, you just go really slow? Okay. else we got I think there was a power-up I missed like some sort of weapon thing like way back at the start I forget what I was missing it might be the space jump space jump seems like a lightly culprit oh excuse me oh you can't break those not like these mushroom things. What was that? Oh, it's just the environment. Never mind. Oh, and the title screen is some of my favorite music in this, actually. I don't think you got to see much of... Well, that's interesting. That is quite... I figured I didn't have the ability to affect any of the environment. This... This warrants further study. Interesting. Alright, what was in here? Barker, you're in the way. Death was in here! Okay, we don't need any death. We'll be, we'll be back there later. For the death. I think this is just a save room. Oh right, this is the room where I saved. Um, this is... Can I use this? Is this... No. Okay. Ah. I want to fill this room for the map. I have a problem where I have to fill maps. It just doesn't feel right to leave a map. Like an auto map that isn't complete. It's not right, I tell you. All right, so back up, I guess. I like how you make a path by glitching through here. That's a novel way of, oops. I glitched too much. There we go, I glitched not enough, rather. One of the two, possibly both. Okay, now what's, why is jump not working? Um, that was weird. Okay. Yeah, as expected. Wait. You probably can't, but let's let's make sure. Go faster, glitch sprites. Ah, they can't. Okay. Worth a shot. All the way back again. And I like these little bits of the environment like jutting out like that seems to be one of those blue evil room thingies. That's one thing I really loved about the aesthetic in Super Metroid and the original Metroid is these themed areas like this tile set that you know sort of bleeds into the other one. I just love that look of the different areas. I don't even care I'll just tank through this. Right, I can't go up. Okay. Okay. Nope. Right, 
back up yet again. Dang it. Hmm. No, I think this is just another save room. I guess red must be save rooms, come to think of it. Yeah, it is. Alright. We'll save just in case. Pretty backgrounds here, too. Oh, and I love this goopy stuff. The goopy stuff is the best. It's all like sploosh when you shoot it. Sploosh! Excellent. Okay. Any secrets? No secrets. I can deal with that. Can you glitch this? No. No, you can't. Let's look how squishy it is! I just love that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Delicious. Okay, right around here I was missing some crap. No, this one's just a health. Dead now, whatever it is. Oh, it's one of the. You become a platform? I know you. S what the? Wow. They're really using the glitches in a cool way, then. Excellent. What? Interesting. That's so awesome. A fragment of health. Ow. Wait, what's this? Nothing. Okay, never mind. Uh, you never had a console for those games? You can play an okay amount of them on a Wii or a Wii U with a virtual console and uh, PS3 or PSTV or PS Vita, PS... not 4 actually and get some of those Some really great stuff out there Super Metroid's just... Did I never come in here? Oh, no, I must have come in here and then couldn't make the jump Metroid's a series that just doesn't really get the love it needs to get from Nintendo. Which is very unfortunate. But there's been some very good Metroidvanias on PC as well, or just general indie Metroidvanias regardless of platform. But, um, like, Bunny Must Die is one of my favorite Metroidvanias actually. It's not a particularly popular opinion. It's a very hard game, but I just really love it. I've streamed that at least once. I've been meaning to do a proper Let's Play of it. Like I, I don't know. I always like thought it would. I would make a big deal of it because I really love the game. I really want to expose more people to it. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Let's just go in here for a second. Excuse me. I need a new line. I say that a lot. There we go. Wait. Do you become breaky things? No, you just slow down. Right. What do we got here? Nothing doing, huh? Yeah, you still hurt. I like the pseudo sprite flicker. For some reason, it annoys me less than actual sprite flicker. I really like that this sort of does the glitches, like, it does similar glitches to a real NES console would have done, but not quite exactly, because 
honestly, actual glitches are kind of boring. Like, they're very predictable, not necessarily boring. And so, this game does them in its own way to, you know, make them useful. My X button not working. What is going on with that? Are you kidding? What is... ugh. Well, pre-release software and all that. Hold on. Yeah, I think that locked up my game. Okay, hold on. Parker, you're sitting on the keyboard! Okay, I think Parker sitting on the keyboard is why the buttons stop working. Ah, oh, crap. I hope I saved recently. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and guess Parker laying on the keyboard is why the jump button stopped working, actually. He's very helpful sometimes. Okay, is the stream back? Looks like not. Hold on. Streaming. Are you seriously gonna do this to me? Yes, Axiom Verge, refresh window, okay. Look what you did, Parker. Don't you freaking ask for belly rubs at me. Ugh, okay. Gonna have to take the stream down and come right back up. Okay, so the moment I restart the stream, like I stop the stream, it starts working again. Which, which did I load? Well, I'll know because of the, okay, it must be this one. Ah. Okay, so let's try to not have my cat sit on the keyboard and break my controls. Oh, you're kidding me. What's going on now? I have great luck with streaming. It's just... It's really great. <sighs> the absolute best tier luck. Hey, it's actually working this time. Like, without having to restart the stream. I'm not, I'm not even gonna ask. I'm just, just whatever. That's, that's fine. This is why I should stream console games, because at least they won't, like, air out like this. But of course my capture card will make everything look way worse. Oh, that's what was wrong. I wasn't in 60 FPS or 30 FPS last time. It's that's weird. I it's 60 FPS now, and it wasn't the first time I was playing. Why? Why was it? What? Whatever. Never mind. I don't. I've just lost the ability to even right now. <sighs> right, let's pause the stream. Oops, sorry, Parker. He wants belly rubs, something fierce. It's not time for belly rubs, though, Parker. It's time for video games. I'm just gonna blame all of my poor performance in the last segment on the 30 frames per second. I'm sure that's not what it was for the most part, but I'm still gonna blame it on that. certainly does look better at 60 frames per second. 
Alright. It feels right, too, because... I mean, the main thing about 60 frames per second is that once you get used to it for a specific game, it's gonna feel really weird if you suddenly lose it. And the same is temporarily true if you go from 30, or from... Yeah, from 30 to 60. It feels weird at first, but it's just a matter of getting used to it. And once you're used to it, that's... That's the part that's a pain in the butt, is getting used to something else. Does the actual stream look different now? Is it actually 60 frames per second? I had to pause it. My, I'm getting close to my bandwidth cap. Like, not super close. Like, I still have 100 gigs left, but I don't really want to waste it either. On a stream that I'm not actually really watching. I can't go in here. I'm not really sure if those multiple fragments actually hurt, like, separately, but I want to believe they do. Ow. Excuse me. Yes, I play video games based on belief. That's, that's how I get things to work. Alright, let's see. Still, it should actually be significantly smoother, but whatever. I won't really worry about it. It's probably gonna end up 30 frames per second to YouTube. Unless I can, if I can upload it direct and have it not screw up, then it might be fine. But my capture, or not my capture, my editing software is 30 frames per second only, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Scoosh. I love that scooshiness. More games need to have the scooshiness. This is obviously something over here because the map doesn't end. But heck if I know what. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Squish. Now I feel dumb. I did the whole like, in advanced stream warning thing, and I still have two people. I'm not sure what happened to... I'm not sure why Lisa had so many people. I guess I got a couple of retweets, but... Erg. Streaming is just frustrating, because your YouTube audience doesn't just, like, magically pop over here. If you hear weird sounds, Barker is, like, making out with the microphone. It's because he loves you. Right, there was something over here. <laughs> this was a puzzle, well, sort of puzzle mechanic, we just kind of forgot about here. Oh man, one of my favorite glitches here. This thing glitches into a thing that gives you health, which is excellent. What do these glitch into? The same thing, I guess. Less interesting. Okay, multi-disruptor time. That's a microphone, Parker. You don't need to eat it. He's gonna try to eat it. He's got... He's got the moxie to try to eat it. Nothing? Hmm. So what's up for people besides me? Anything interesting in everyone's lives? Giant fire demons you have to defeat, things like that. Oh right! That- I love that, the chain reaction sort of glitch. That will make this room much easier. There we go. It's very quiet. Okay, I know there was something up here. I think there was just a weapon that we got, and then 
I didn't see any way to get over here. And there's still no way to get over there. There's gotta be another jump upgrade, it's kind of obvious. Possibly a double jump, possibly some sort of... I've already got something to give me more vertical distance, but... No, I actually mostly just need more vertical distance. I, I haven't really seen any situations where I need more horizontal. I think there's a drilling animation there. Just this, the drill in general is just some amazing animation. Like, look at that. It's pressure sensitive to a crazy degree. Like, just... It doesn't even help. It's just awesome for the sake of being awesome. And I just approve of that so hard. I just love little touches like that. That don't really do too much, but... They're just there to be appreciated. And conveniently enough, I do appreciate that. Pardon me? Parker seems to be enjoying himself. He's just rolling around on the desk like, oh yes. It's just... In his mind, he's being petted. Petted? Words. I'm not good at them. Excuse me. That one turned white. Well, some sort of... Yeah, it's white enough. We'll call that white. Best not to think about it too much. Ah! For a moment there, I thought there would be something. Foolish of me. Alright, so we got everything in sector... Oh. Actually... Wait, no, I think that's just another... No, that does... That... That warrants future study here. Generally favor to look for... What do you mean generally favor to look for? I mean... Pretty complicated field for user experience stuff. I mean, everything's fairly complicated in terms of- Oh! The game froze, but my button imports are going through. Uh. Once again, the game is a preview, so I mean... Stuff happens. Oh well. See, now it's working just fine. I don't- Ugh. Whatever. I've got assorted lists of gripes I have in video games, but like, there's a lot of stuff that's specific to genres or games that include certain features. I've actually been meaning to, I bought a website, and I've been meaning to sort of do a blog that's like user experience stuff for video games. I just never really ended up making it. Well, I mean, I own it, and it's technically a blog, I just don't post anything to it yet. But like, one of the, I was gonna do a series of like, quirks in RPGs, like, especially JRPGs and turn-based stuff that I really think can be improved without too much effort, frankly. And I wish more games would try to solve some of those issues, like, in Neptunia Rebirth 2, and basically all the Neptunia games, they do, they have a new game plus, and it's just very poor, frankly, because it locks you out of the stuff that you would really enjoy for New Game Plus. Like, it locks you out of characters, and it resets a whole bunch of progress for no real reason. How? I must get in there from the top? Okay, I, I have no memory of this place. But yeah, so basically, I beat Neptunia Rebirth 2 a couple days ago, and then. So I want to go back through it again, right, and play with all my favorite characters. Well, the problem is, it starts with the beginning of the game where you only have three characters, and there's like 15 characters, and all of the cool ones are all these characters that I can't play at the start of the new game plus, and I have all these cool costumes that I can't use at the, without those characters, and ugh, oh, it's frustrating. 
Wait, that's it? That's it? This is... what? I could have swore there was a drop in the map that I didn't get to. Oh well, I'm stupid. A simple FPS game. Well, one of the big things in first-person shooters is this general feel of movement. Like, FOV is a big problem. Lots of people can't really deal with low FOV on mouse-controlled games, or even console games. Because it's just this weird experience. Like, I don't really get it. I don't get motion sickness of any particular kind. But some people do, and so it's pretty important to keep try like, try to accommodate wide FOVs, and even just for, like, people that don't get motion sickness but may have a large display, like, if you're using, what's it called, iFinity or whatever NVIDIA calls that, where you have three monitors acting as one, that's pretty cool tech, but it doesn't really, like, if you have limited FOV options, it's not much use to you. And it's also pretty important to, uh, like, allow people to disable ViewBob if you have it. Does anyone like ViewBob even? I mean, View is probably one of my least favorite bobs, to be quite honest. I've turned it off in pretty much everything. Let's go and save. Is this even a save room? It is. Why is save red usually, but now it's blue in this one? Is it because the machine is blue? That's a very odd reason. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I think Borderlands 1, at least on console, it had bad FOV. I assume you could edit on console, or actually, I think Borderlands 1 was a fairly poor port. So like, Borderlands 2, I played Borderlands 1 on PS3 and Borderlands 2 on PC. The general thing in first-person shooters is you want lots of options, and I mean, this holds true for lots of 3D games, and just in general. I, It's really amazing what a good options menu can do to a game. Hello, Nine Ranger. But yeah, I, I can't do any of this, yeah. Hmm. I think we've run out of things to explore. Let's see here. Yeah, it's really nice to have a good set of options for any first person sort of game. And I don't know, for anything more specific, I need to know like what specifically you do in the game. Like a common statement in user experience is it depends because I mean stuff really is complicated and a lot of times what is right or best to do really does depend on the exact circumstances and sometimes you're frankly just kind of screwed and something is just going to be kind of awkward and you just kind of got to guide the user the best you can because you can't make something perfect it's the sort of thing you just have to keep in mind through the entire process and you can't just keep a few tricks in mind like, to know, to be like, avoid all problems. There's even more bodies coming up. Or wait, no. Maybe we've... Maybe that was the big body room. I didn't notice the bodies. No, the big body room is to the right. We're gonna pass by even more bodies, so... Get your... Um, what am I trying to say here? Look forward to that. Parker. Just... You're just gonna sit here right in front of my face, aren't you? Excellent. Yeah, I do want to do some videos talking about user experience in games. I've just been kind of... Oh wait, no, that was the big body room. Maybe I might be a liar. I lie sometimes, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just haven't got my blog started really because... Frankly, partly because my experience with streaming has kind of been that the attach rate or not the attach rate, the conversion rate from YouTube to other things is pretty crazy low. So like, I could start a blog and spend like hours writing something and then have like two people read it, and that kind of sucks. 
but uh, I'll probably I'll probably try something, but uh, once again you tempt me with your two high doors. This game and its mysteries. It's almost like that's a fundamental game design part of Metroidvania games. Ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. I'll I'll probably just try to write a few articles at once and like not put too much effort into it, but like make it polished, but not something that takes a crap ton of time. Just so I'm not disappointed if I get crap reviews. And like my main challenge for that would be how do I inform YouTubers that I have my whole blog and I've got updated posts and crap without being annoying. So I don't Ooh. What do we have here? What? Oh, don't do this to me. The truth. Parker, stay away from the keyboard. Oh, crap. Is this supposed to be readable? Like, I can see some these and some me's. Obey? Hmm. I'm not quite getting anything out of that. Well, that was an interesting find. Now I wonder how many of those there are. I think it used some Cyrillic to like look like screwed up English words. I don't think that was supposed to actually be Cyrillic. It's a common cheap trick to make words like distorted or whatever you want to call that. I don't know. I don't really want to try and figure out what that says right now. Aha! No! Why can't Axiom Verge crawl? I already made that joke, but whatever. I'm making it again. I can make two jokes. You're not the boss of me. Oh man, I'm gonna have to drill every wall now. It's gonna bug me. Hmm. I wonder if this game has zips. I haven't really taken the speedrun back to this game yet. I haven't really noticed anything that would seem like it would let me sequence break or anything, but I mean, I'm not a speedrunner, so I probably just... Damn it. Wouldn't notice anyway. Who's fluffy? Who's fluffy? Hi. Hmm. I hope there's some sort of like x ray goggles thing that lets you check walls for the, uh, permissible crap. Though honestly the x-ray visor in Super Metroid is its own problem because it's annoying to use even when you have it because you just gotta derp around in every freaking room. It's less annoying because of how quick to use it is in Metroid Prime, but you also don't really need to use it that often. It's usually like you obviously know you need to do something with the x-ray visor, whereas in Super Metroid it's just kind of you gotta scan every room to find crap because that's just how we made the game. Sorry. See these glitches. I like these glitches. I like how they have the feel of the metro doors without actually just having to shoot and open everything. Hmm. Is there anything over here? Oh man, I'm so paranoid with the drills. I should. I wish I never noticed that, because I'm just going to be all over that forever now. Hmm. 
I did keep that thing, didn't I? Yes. I hope there's something that translate those or something. If there isn't, I'm sure someone will decode them, but that person, I'm sorry, will not be me. Annoyingly fun. I would say it's fun. I'm not sure about annoyingly. I love that, like, mass explosion thing they do. Blurk. How do I get in here? I want in. I want in to the fun, the goodness. Give me the delicious fun goodness. Oh, you can... Ugh. That's fussy. But you can do a hook jump, but you can't... It doesn't help in that area. Oh well. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to drill all of these pits now that I've seen that issue with the other one. This is something I love but hate in Metroidvanias. Because things are kind of too well hidden sometimes, but I enjoy things being hidden, but there's a delicate balance to strike there. And uh, I'm not sure it really can be perfectly struck for every individual, because everybody's going to have different intuitions on whether to dig into this hole or that hole. You can solve that problem by making everything super obvious, but that kind of ruins the exploration aspect. Okay, nothing to do there. I still gotta check this one though. It's just I gotta actually I think that must be the end of the the preview over here. Excuse me. Oh, no it's not. How did I not come here? I must have come here. I don't understand. Right, stop drilling the walls, tap tap. Save room, please? The fun of previewing a game is I want to save just in case it crashes or something. It's not the game's fault, it's just a preview game and that just happens in games this early before release. It's also launching first on PS4, probably, and this is the PC preview, so I mean that might have something to do with things too. I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've been here. Oh, I think it must have ended the game, so I mean that kind of erases some of your progress. Oh. I just love those glitches. Honestly, any game that has, like, glitches as a aesthetic, like, I don't even know what I would call that, like, stop saying like, um, so Dot .hack does it a lot where glitches are part of the aesthetic and it's like, it takes advantage of the part that it's part of a game, and Hyperdimension Neptunia does this a lot where, like, there'll be glitches, like, it's usually more like, random cyberspace stuff in Neptunia, not glitches, but all of this cool stuff that's like being in part of a game if games were designed like people imagined the internet in the early 90s. It's just this surreal, but I don't know what to call it. I, cyberpunk is the closest thing I can call it, but I don't really think that's accurate either. Are you a platform? Well, golly, you sure are. Interesting. Okay, what's up here? I lost my train of thought when I was saying golly, because that's totally a thing I say. Hmm. Yes, I don't know what I'm like what to call what I like, but the like techno-y circuits and stuff, pixels and things, I like that. 
I don't know what it is, but I like it, okay? I really need to find a word for that, because I come into this problem a lot where I want to describe what I like. Um, I have no idea if the saves will transfer over. I kind of assume not, but I mean, this is just a preview build, and it's like... It's a press preview build, so it's not like early access or anything. This is something sent by the developer directly to, you know, streamers, YouTubers, press. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't end up saving. But, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I have no idea if my save is gonna transfer over, but it's not really a big deal. Probably know they'll change stuff around anyway, so like my progress won't be valid anymore. A really cool example of something like that is the Danganronpa demo. Like, it's a game about murders and mysteries and stuff. And in the demo, a different person dies in the first case. So, like, you go into the main game having played the demo and you think, oh, whatever, I already saw this person died. And then it's a, suddenly a different person. You're like, And you can't tell me those aren't morph balls down there. I mean, that or the Google Chrome logo, which is also kind of a morph ball. Yeah, it's just a playable thing for hype purposes, basically. What the deal with the Axiom Verge stuff is, is there's... They're going to do five previews. Each is about 5% of the game. So we're currently seeing about 15% of the full game here. And our completion percent is at like 12%, so that's right around correct. And it's so like every month or so they release a new preview. And they've been a bit sporadic with the previews. Like, I was kind of expecting to be done with previews by now, actually. And this is only preview 3. Unless they unleashed... Like, the weird thing... Stream harmful. Um, I've been told my voice is pretty harmful, but other than that, I'm not really sure what you mean. But, um... Ugh, what was I talking about? But yeah, they have these previews, like, every few months, and they show another 5% of the game, and so people run through, they speed run, they do Let's Plays, whatever they want to do. And so, they keep 75% of the game all wrapped up. But they sort of show increasing amounts of the game and let people speed run it. And so it's been a pretty cool experiment. I don't recall anything doing this, anything doing like a preview campaign quite like this. So I was pretty interested in it. Alright. These things. Go! Die, please! Something die! Okay, goodness. Oh, the steam! I thought you said stream! Sorry about that. Yes, the steam is harmful. I thought you said stream, I'm like... Is this... Is me streaming harmful? I mean, I don't think I'm that bad of a streamer, but... But yeah, the steam hurts! A significant amount, if I recall correctly. So yes, I want to avoid that. Oh, I think talking to her ends the demo, or preview, whatever this is, so we're not going to do that quite yet. I just wanted to completely explore everything. Steam is very, has been very good for me to like experience having a lot of games and not playing a ton of them. I have like... 360 games on Steam now, and I do not play all that many. And now I have all these games I have to get review copies for, and... 
you would think getting free games would be cool, but I mean, then you have to play them and make videos and things, and it's... Things are hard. I have to play video games, it's so hard. Ugh. Crap, I fell down a chute. Music is so good, the and the atmospheric, it's just so atmospheric, I, I can't words, it's just, it defies them. And then there's these pauses in the music, and it's just so great. My number one least favorite thing with Twitch is the chat delay, and I'm like, I'm seeing LOL, and I'm like, I don't even remember what I was saying. I, why no jump? Get upness. Og. You can't do this to me, game. It's illegal to do this to me. Ah. You and your teases. Uh, you can hide games in Steam now. It's actually very useful. You just right click on and you go to category, and then there's this checkbox that's hide this game from your library. And I'm not sure if it still shows up in your game count, but it it's totally invisible unless you go to that specific, like, hidden games thing. Ten seconds, seriously? That seems low. It's usually more like 20 to 30. And my voice isn't... Oh, right, right. I keep forgetting. These things, like, screw up your jump. Also, I love the sound effects when you can't glitch something. It's so discordant and, like, ear painful. Also, these, like, I keep saying like. I, Ugh. I need to stop that. These heart thingies. They're beautiful. I want to make them my brides. I guess this is a save. Ah, oh, no! I can't go up. <laughs> Crying. Wait, playback stats? Where do you get that? I didn't know there was a thing you could do. I'm a very experienced Twitch streamer, by the way. Oh, right, it's this place. Oh god, the lasers! The lasers! No! Okay, no. Not. This is not a happy place. We need to get a save thingy before the lasers kill our families. Oh god. The lasers. Our families. They're being lasered. Okay. Phew. Yeah, I mean, I love having a variety of games to play and experiencing a variety of games, but it is kind of annoying and, like, I couldn't even decide particularly what to stream today. I was going through my press stuff, and like, nothing seemed too exciting. And stuff that people want me to play, I usually just don't really want to, because people want to see lots more stuff like... Like Darkest Dungeon, Binding of Isaac, and I mean, it's not that I don't like those games, I just don't like constantly showing the same thing. You filthy tease. Yeah, I wanted to explore all the nooks and crannies of this anyway, and so I figured it'd make a good stream. We've actually got four people now, finally. Which is surprisingly a lot for me. I just need to stream regularly and see what happens. I need to not get all depressed about it. What is this? Is it, 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 you can't just put a thing there and make me not think about that. Look at that, there's a blue... There's like eight blue pixels there. It's very... Oh. Interesting. So there's guided missiles. I, I Yeah, I remember that from when I played before.
This one problem I have with this game is that the Axiom Disruptor is kind of too good, and the quirks of the other guns aren't really all that interesting. Like, they're not- well, not interesting, it's that they're not all that useful. Wait, you can glitch these? What the- I keep forgetting I can- oh god, that's not entirely helpful. I don't know, I can get 10 on a good day, but I don't know what constitutes, like, why good days happen. Ow. I'm gonna guess the purple lava hurts. I mean, I think lava hurts regardless of color, but purple seems like a particularly hot variety of lava. Wait, purple? That's pink. That's, why did I... <gasps> How dare you, game! You tempt me so. Lurg. Okay, so there's some sort of morph ball eventually coming. We've established that. And what's up with these rooms? With the- oh! Oh, I'm stupid! I didn't even get the high jump yet. Crap. I thought I already got this, because I did it in the Let's Play. But I forgot. Erg. Yeah, when you reach the end of the preview, it- Ow. When you reach the end of the preview, it just kind of ends and doesn't save your game, so I kind of forgot about that. Arg! Now I have to go back. Well, well, I'll explore around here first. Hi, Animaster, by the way. I forgot to say hi. So I think I can go up here now. Oh, right. This is a huge jump upgrade. I think this... The thing I thought was a double jump is actually this, because I forgot I ha this I had this, or I forgot I didn't have this rather. Arg! Go up! The lasers stop with the lasers! I'm not a big fan of these laser guys. I'm generally not a big fan of lasers in my face. That's frankly one of the last places I would like lasers. killed me! Ah. Great, thanks. Just glitch right into me. Whatever. So don't glitch those guys. It's not... That's not a way to be a winner. Okay. You don't have to pay a lot of attention, I just appreciate having people in chat, like... Even if I had like a billion people watching, I would feel awkward if I didn't have somebody to chat with. For some reason, when I'm not doing a Let's Play, it just feels really weird to try to talk to myself. I just want people to throw up topics to talk about. Or just, I don't know, answer people's questions, whatever. So what did I die to over here? Where there's a way to go right. It's a one way trip at this point. Because these freaking laser things are gonna kill me. If that thing doesn't, which it probably will. What's over? Oh, it's this. Whatever. I'm just gonna go melt in some lava. Delicious. Okay, I think that's all we can explore in this region. I'm pretty sure if we talk to the giant head lady, the game ends. I guess we can save and confirm that, but... Wait. That's weird. I never got to go into that door, but it still marks as being an exit. Unless I got in from the other side. I don't recall doing that. It's possible.
So much good music. Are you a save? You're sure not. I love breaking these things. It's so good. Oh goodness. Oh god, what? No, this this is this is illegal. That that was not a legal thing that was happening there. I just thought you should be aware of that game. Okay, now how the heck do I get there? Yeah, it definitely takes some getting used to to learn to like talk to yourself for stuff like let's plays and streams. There's definitely skill to it. Oh, good. Uh, this is a pretty large street view. It's 15% of what should be a fairly large game. I don't know exact figures or anything, but... I don't think it is entirely presumptuous to say it's around the scale of Super Metroid, roughly speaking. I don't, like, have any particular reason to base that off other than 15% of this game feels like a fair bit. Oh man. I... I'm so gonna die. What's in the box? And I need a Morph Ball. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Right, this is the room where steam kills you. It's honestly not my favorite room. I prefer the rooms where steam doesn't kill you. Precious save room, thank you. Ah. <sighs> Sigh of relief. No, health does not regen. You have to use a save room, or if you die, you keep your progress, but you go back to the last save room. It's a pretty nice setup. Oh right, this is where the demo ends. I remember the hilarious sign. That's not going to be in the final game. That's placeholder asset to tell you that the preview's over. You get health by killing enemies too, but generally not a ton. Like, it's random drops. Alright, this is the room where I learned there must be some other jump power up. to do here. Alright, so, gone as far as we can in that direction. Ouch. So let's go down. I'm actually very interested to see how the game changes. Like, I never had an opportunity to play like a preview quite like this. I'm kind of wondering if there'll be some changes that I notice when I go to play it. Like, I absolutely love the cutting room floor. It's this wiki that covers a bunch of, like, unused content and changed content in games. So I love finding stuff like that. I mean, usually someone else finds it for me and I read about it on TCRF, but I just always thought it'd be really cool to actually be the first person to notice, or like the first person at least to wiki about it, and be like, oh hey, this thing's different in the final game. I have no idea if that'll be the case or anything. Probably nothing too minor, or too significant, because I mean, this is a sanitized press release sort of deal, not like a leaked prototype or anything super exciting. This is pretty, this would be pretty substantial for a demo, I mean... I think my main playthrough was like an hour, and I mean, that all had prior experience. I am I would say I'm, this is like two or three hours worth of content, if you're not trying to explore everything. Like, not rushing either, but hello lady. What are some examples of good demos? I honestly don't see too many- there aren't too many demos lately. Oh. 
That's an interesting collision there. Let me zip! Let me zip! No? Darn you and your good collision detection. Hmm. Well, that's going nowhere. Alright. I bet I can get in there with Morph Ball. The protagonist's name is Trace. You saw that in the dialogue, actually. You might not have noticed. Do I need... Oh, right, there may be something in here. Oops. Yeah, I thought Trace was a pretty interesting name. One random control quirk I will mention. Bunny Must Die does this really interesting thing when you're walking off a ledge where you drop down... Or no, that's... Um... Let me think here. In Mercenary Kings, when you walk off a ledge, you drop down one pixel for like the last frame that you're on that ledge, and you can jump while you drop down that one pixel. And it has this really great feeling of control, because you know exactly the frame when you've jumped off a platform. And there's also a game called Bunny Must Die, which is uh, another Metroidvania, kind of like this. And it does something slightly different. Bunny has this edge gravity where she doesn't want to walk off the edge unless you go full force and walk all the way through the motion so like if you just tap it at the edge she hesitates and doesn't fall off the edge and sometimes people complain about controls like that in games but really if you actually try to walk off a ledge it's very hard you have to force yourself off that edge and so I kind of rather like bunnies physics and so, ah. Oh. Um, it's actually a cheerful but also dreadful game. It's a very interesting game. I, I'll do a video of it eventually. I mean, there are videos of it on my channel, and I did a stream of it too. I just, I just have this obsession with doing, with doing that game justice. But yeah, Bunny has this thing where she sort of hesitates, and it makes it very easy to jump off a ledge exactly, which is quite useful in that game. The game has a lot of precision. It is a very hard game. And like, it's a Metroidvania, but each new... Where am I going? I'm going in here. Okay. Each new map, the first time you play it, basically plays like a puzzle. Like, I got stuck for... 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour in each new room, and it's a fairly large game. So every new room was a challenge to overcome, and really intense, and it just controls really well, and I just really love that game. I can't recommend it well enough. Parker. Excuse me, sir. Get your tail out of my face. I can't see, Parker. There are things trying to kill me. Parker. Okay, that's, that's better. Every game is harder with Parker. I kind of like the sound effects in this game. They have some interesting lo-fi sound effects. I mean, I just kind of love everything in this game. It's so cohesive. It's... It has that retro-ness, but without compromising being compromising and it has some effects that you clearly couldn't do on NES hardware and it makes the most of them too and it does it without stupid things like mismatched pixel sizes mismatched pixel size bugs the crap out of me but when you use it for stuff like these particles here I don't mind that I'm not entirely sure how to quantify what I like about using higher res higher than native resolution like higher than sprite resolution oh man I love that you can see the thing like in front of those tubes 
the, the distortion effects, like, you can't see them very well here. But it allows them to use, like, the extra pixels in an interesting way without corrupting the original sprite art, like, in a bad way. The yellow things are here to throw fishes. I'm not sure which yellow things you're referring to. If you mean that tentacle thing, it just was shooting yellow orbs. There are some things that are shooting like weird butterfly sort of things though. Uh, oh. I don't get it. Uh, I don't think there's anything useful in this room. I mean, there doesn't have to be anything useful in every room, but I don't know, that felt pretty pointless. Oh well, let's get out of here. Mr. Verge, no. I always want to call him Axiom Verge, but his name is Trace. Tower things. Oh, these things! Yes, they do kind of throw something akin to fishes, the coral things. I thought you meant this, which is definitely not throwing fishes. Fun fact, the floral of fish is fish, but I always say fishes. Well, not always, but I mean, I say it fairly often without thinking about it. Okay, bad, bad, no. Please die, please die, okay. Thank you for dying. I'm Sir Tap Tap and thank you for dying. I mashed a bit intensely in this game. You can't exactly shoot as fast as you can mash, but uh, it helps a teeny bit. Okay, so we can't go in there. All right, I wanted to glitch these. What do you do? It's broken. It turned into one of those. Oh man, I love these glitches. I love me a good corruption too. What do you do? You just stop? Oh god, okay, no. It just gets very slow. I knew it! I freaking knew it! I knew it! And that's one of the things Bunny Must Die will do a lot. It'll make little trails like this and you'll have to find out how to get in there. I almost streamed- what? Aw, oh, it was just a shortcut. That's lamer than lame. Yeah, I almost streamed Bunny Must Die again. I will probably stream Bunny Must Die and Binding of Isaac and some other favorites on occasion. But I don't want to just constantly stream the same thing either. If I ever speedrun a game, and I don't want to commit myself, but it'll probably be Bunny Must Die or something kind of like that. Probably not an actual Metroid game, frankly, because, I mean, it just doesn't really interest me too much. Like, I I love watching them done, but I just can't really get too worked up about that, because so many people already do it. I'd rather do something cool like Bunny Must Die. Ow. Ow. What? What? Where did... What? I don't... What? I did not see you there. Okay. If you made a game- Oh, you jerks! You freaking jerks! You- I knew I didn't see you. It's because you're hidden in the freaking ground. That's- I call hacks on that. Let's get in this door before we die. If you make a game, I'd definitely check it out. What?! I'm amazed what I missed. Bio- Causes mutation at max health? What?! I've- I've got to see this. Wow. This game has cool secrets. The gun that I'm using now, and that item I just got, and a couple other power-ups that aren't, like, guns or anything interesting, aren't things that you have to get. Like, they're completely missable, unless you backtrack. It's one of the things I love about Metroidvanias, too. Like, I beat Super Metroid twice without getting the, um, what's it called? The... 
jumpy ball, spring ball. It's just completely optional, and it's pretty cool. I want to see that. I don't know what you mean. I... Whatever you wanted to see was like several minutes ago. Was it when I said if you make a game, I'll probably play it? Like, because if some people send me games, I generally will try to check them out. Especially if it's like a dev reaching out. Ow. Can I make that? I'm... What? What? No. I can't do this. This is cruel. No. Okay, maybe there's... Hold on. Okay. It's gotta be something. What? It's not exactly what I was expecting. My lovely! I'm gonna tweet one of these and see if... Is that actually Cyrillic? Is that... I thought it was just like trying to be English but weird. I guess I can't go back now. I should tweet that and see if anybody like... If there's actual words in there. Okay, what you got for me? Ah, just more health. Nothing too exciting. Yeah, I don't know. I can't particularly read Cyrillic. I have... I've got tentacles! This... Okay. I guess that's what that mutation at full health thing is about. Huh. That awkward moment when you have tentacles. Oh, you don't even have PlayStation buttons. That's one thing, if you're making a game and you had controller support, and also please add controller support, add PlayStation buttons as an option. Because I use X input, but I actually am using a DualShock 4, and that is definitely my preferred controller, and I would prefer PlayStation button prompts. It doesn't prevent me from playing, but it does make it a heck of a lot better experience and makes it easier to recommend. Well, if I can't go backwards, I guess we're basically stuck at this point. Well, I'll get to the exit so I can use this file for the next preview. I guess we're pretty much done here. Ouch. Yeah, there were single ends, and I kind of assume that isn't... Like, maybe it's a substitution cipher, and that could be A, but I kind of assume N on its own, like backwards N, isn't a word in Cyrillic, or not Cyrillic, but you know what I mean. Erg. Oh right, that shortcut. I'm dumb. That actually would have been very useful now. Whatever. Okay. Just gotta get through this room. And a couple others, but this room's probably the worst because of this. Please die. Please die. Okay. Didn't even give me health. Whatever. So that's, 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 that's fine. There you go. Better. I'm gonna have some explaining to do when I start up the next video, because I've got, well, just two items, I guess. But 
I got crap I didn't get in the Let's Play. I guess I could show a quick clip from this video showing me getting them. Arc. How dare you bubble stop my bullets? Okay, this gun isn't very useful. You're still Zambi. Come on. Get your head in the game. Okie doke. Uh, that was Axiom Verge PG3. We got. That's pretty much all the content I didn't show in my Let's Play of it. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm done for the night. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Assuming I haven't blown through my data cap, I'll be streaming again next week, next Thursday, 7 p.m. yet again. But we'll see about that, and I'll try to find out, figure out in advance what to play. Even if it's something I'm already done, like Bunny Must Die. Do you want to say bye, Parker? Hmm? Hmm? No, you're just going to walk around on my desk. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Okay, there we go.